Inspire 5 has a lot of advancements in the algorithms used to process the text in the documents. And one of the best ways to see the results of these algorithms is in the new Facets tool. Faceting allows you to slice and dice your information space into smaller components. So for instance, I have the Alderwood dataset open. This is the dataset that I showed you how to open in the importing text documents movie. Now when I open the Facets tool, what it's showing you is some group folders. Now one of the folders that I made was called author and this comes from the documents. There is a story by field and I had that turned into a categorical field. And so if I look at my groups tool, that has made a group call a group folder called author and here are all the all the authors that were in this story by field. And what the facet tool does is it takes any of those group folders and every group that is in a folder becomes a facet. And it shows you how many documents match that group. And then this is a small representation of documents over time. So the number of documents that flow over time and, and where they appear. Now themes is one of the most exciting pieces of Inspire 5. A theme is a, a collection of keywords and phrases that uh, occur together in documents. And a theme is represented by the top two terms or phrases. So you'll notice now that we have multi-word phrases like Alderwood Community. And if I select one of these, you'll see the whole facet tool shifts around to emphasize that theme so I have now selected all 34 documents in that theme and now the rest of the facets adjust themselves to show which ones correlate, which ones also have documents represented and in, in what order. And so this is a great way to get a feel for what things connect to what, what relates to what. So for instance, I can turn that one off, go back to the, to the default. Um, I can click on John Penny, the author, and I can see what kinds of things he writes about. Now themes are made up of multiple words and phrases, so not just the ones that you can see here. So if I choose one, let's just choose Alderwood Community Hall here, slide that out of the way. If you go to the document viewer, the highlights panel gets filled with all the terms and phrases that went together to make that theme. So now as you use the facet tool, you're actually making selections, and that's shown up here, uh, exploring 34 documents. This is, this is something you'll see in, in various tools in Inspire 5 to show you how many documents are currently selected. And then you can always clear the selection right there. So one of the things we've been told at the beginning of this data set is that there's something about an incident that happened at a bank. So I'm going to just do a quick search here for the word bank. There, that's, that's the one we were told about, an intoxicated driver. Uh, plowed his car into a bank and one of the unique things is that he was talking about flowers so I'm gonna right click on this word flowers here and I'm gonna do a search so that found nine uh, a lot of obituaries it looks like uh, I'm gonna cut this down I'm gonna put an asterisk there just in case there are other documents so see now I have eleven so I got I got a couple more I'm going to go ahead and make that into a group. So you see now I have flower that has shown up into a group. Now by themselves groups don't show up in the facet tool because they need to be uh, a part of a larger collection, so in a folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new folder here. And this is just a folder where I'm going to keep things that are interesting to me. I'm going to put this flower group into that interesting folder. I don't know if you noticed, but the facets tool readjusted when I when I did that. So now when I click add a facet column, now I get that group folder called interesting and there's my group called flower with all 11 items that were selected. So there's the 11. Now one thing I notice is I have a lot of obituaries. I'm not really interested in the obituaries right now. 
Um, there are several ways I could filter those out, but one of the ways is I notice that right here I've got Ellie Olmson is an author of two of these documents, and none is of nine of them. And if I look at some of these obituaries, I notice that they don't have authors on them. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select Ellie Olmson, and now I'm looking at only the two documents where Ellie Olmson overlaps with Flower. And you can see across time, here's where they are, how far they are separated in time. And now what I can do is not only can I go read just the two documents that aren't obituaries that have to do with flowers. Here's the one we started off with, Intoxicated Driver. But now I can look at these themes that show up, that, get, that bubble to the top. All the other themes are still shown here. They got so small that they went down to zero. But so now I have some other interesting terms that I might want to go look up. Prado and Apples uh, and Hernandez and a silo. So for instance, I might, I might find something about Prado. So I can do a search on Prado and I can find, well, there's, there's five documents that have to do with Prado. So I'm gonna make that into a group and now I'm going to add, oh, it looks like I did it twice. And now I'm going to add Prado into the interesting folder. Here, let me get rid of this one. So now when I added Prado, that automatically started showing up here in my interesting one. So now I can select Prado and see what bubbles to the top here. So now I have Apples and Rojas. Boynton, FDA, Silo. So you can see I can just keep drilling down here and I can find new things to search for, add them to my interesting list. So you can continue to make multiple folders and put groups in them and those will, those will show up as new facets. Um, you can remove facets by clicking on the X on the column. And then when you, when you go to add a facet, then you get a uh, little menu that, that pops up on the name to ask you which one you want to choose when you, if you have multiples that you can choose from. Uh, and you can also click on that name anytime and select another one that isn't already shown. So facets are a great way to get a handle on your data, on what's in there, and especially when combined with themes. Themes are, are at a different level of granularity than cluster labels that you're used to in the galaxy and both can work together to help you get a feel for what things relate to each other in your data.